Hello, welcome to The Kitchen Spy. My name is Kate and here's another food haul and I hope that this video finds you safe and well. Um, I, as you know, I'm behind on my videos and I've got to the point where I've got like several weeks of Meals of the Week videos to do. So what I'm going to do is do one huge video um, with bookmarks and I'm going to do it instead of like what week I ate it which is not really relevant to you I guess or me anymore um, I'm just going to do it in categories so maybe poultry or fish or vegetarian or whatever um, so all of the meals will be out there meal ideas and if I've done any recipes for the meals then obviously I will try and remember to link them down below but I am notoriously useless at that so we'll see what I can do anyway so this is another um, haul so I hope you enjoy it and I look forward to seeing you on the next one which hopefully won't be too long another Saturday another haul uh, again Tesco and Aldi I realize that's quite tedious but um, I have very limited options around here I'm afraid unless I want to travel for miles which I don't so uh, there's not that much food here this week because actually we've got quite a lot of stuff in and I'm taking advantage of the meat that we've got in the freezer and also some fish and things. But um, it's quite an expensive one. My most expensive for quite a while and that's because there's some alcohol um, and I'll explain more about that when I get to it. Um, so we've got some dry cured bacon here. This bacon is really nice and as you can see very lean um, really lovely and lean and we're going to have bacon and egg um, for dinner one night then a couple of chicken breasts and my husband will do his deviled chicken there's a recipe for that so I'll link it down below if I remember I'm always saying that and then I don't remember to link stuff so I apologize if I don't link it it's on my recipes Anyway, um, some lacto-free milk, our usual skimmed milk and our Alpro devilishly dark chocolate. Again, both of those things I have to go to Tesco for, which is just so frustrating. And also all of the, um, well not all of it, but basically anything gluten-free I have to go to Tesco. Aldi really need to up their gluten-free game because it's pathetic. Ooh. Mardi. Anyway, um, butter basted chicken breast slices, ham, those have got gluten free breadcrumbs on, having said they need to up their game, but they still do. And some peppered beef, that's for sandwiches this week. And then I have got some of this. This was from Aldi, and this was the sweet chili beetroot. And I'm hoping that's as nice as the one I used to get from Tesco and some of these crispy skin on fries because. Um, in the week, I am going to be making some fish cakes using some frozen fish that I've got in the freezer, unsurprisingly, <laughs> frozen fish in the freezer. Um, so I've got some cod and I think I've got some salmon as well. I might even have some smoked haddock. So I'm just going to use all of that and make some uh, fish cakes. Um, yeah, some cherry tomatoes because I'll be serving that with the skin on fries and the fish cakes and some salad. Ginger, that's for the devil chicken. Um, olives, we got the olives from, I say we, me, I got the olives from Tesco this week because my husband's not all that on the um, Aldi olives, so we got those. Some baby corn, that will be for a stir fry that my husband's going to do. And we have um, some pork fillet in the freezer and we'll be using that. Blueberries for snacks and also for cereals salad so this is for um well it's for salad <laughs> sorry it's for with the uh, fish cakes and i don't normally buy it pre-prepared like that but i only need it for one meal so I, you know i know we would use it um through the week or whatever on sandwiches but I only really need it for one meal and a bag of salad leaves was like 75 80p or something so this was 75p and that's a really good you know it's got some nice things in it for 75p and that will be two um, side salad portions so I thought that was really good so that's why I got that then I got this tender stem broccoli and uh, stir fry mix, which 
uh, just look really lovely actually so that will go in the stir fry with the pork and the baby corn and onions of course Welsh potatoes just for generally um, and also for the fish cakes of course some easy peelers so I was going to buy satsumas this week but um, I know satsumas are really a winter fruit but the ones in Aldi they were horrible they were like you know half of them were mouldy in the back so I didn't buy those some peppers that will be some of it for the stir fry salads and so on and some asparagus spears and they will go with the um, devil chicken so um, lemons for gin and just general lemony goodness and then um, some bananas so I've kind of swapped over to bananas on toast for breakfast at the moment and I'm finding it really tasty and um, as a kind of um, wild experiment <laughs> this is how exciting my life is I decided to butter the toast well I used the Aldi lighter Nord pack because uh, I don't normally butter the toast if I've got bananas on it, but I did. And oh, what a revelation. I've been really missing out all these years just to save a few calories. It was really lovely. Um, oh, I, I'm just so easily pleased. Some classic basmati rice and some granola, which looks nice. It's apricot and cranberry. Some gluten-free bread, of course, from Tesco, because Aldi can't be bothered to get any. Then um, some a couple of... Um, light bulbs so in the spare room which I have recently decorated and it has two stone walls which were already painted white but they'd got loads of cracks in it so I had to fix it all up I think I've talked to you about this before so I apologize if I'm boring you but there are two wall lights which are very high 1980s style <laughs> really and I've painted them um, the same colour as the wall to make them shrink into the background a little bit. They were kind of a horrible, gruesome green colour. Anyway, so I painted them and I needed new bulbs. And I cannot believe I've taken so long to say I've bought two bulbs, which I have. They're four pounds each. Four. Count it. Four. Anyway, um, some Tunnock's tea cakes. And then in Aldi, I thought I'd try these, which are clearly trying to be something. Maybe Rockies? I don't know. Anyway, they are caramel wackos, which sounds a bit weird. Uh, ignore all the red stuff. Yeah, that's really bad. Um, but they're only 103 calories a bar. And for me, that is the perfect amount for a snack with a cup of tea. Uh, about 105 calories is what I go on. Then a couple of uh, rice cake boxes, bars. Those are nice. And then some wine this week because we are going out out I mean really out I'm even going to put some makeup on Whoop. Uh, our neighbours have invited us to dinner so um, we've bought some wine to take with us um, some of our normal cider so our neighbours have been in for a few months and they're very nice and they have very kindly invited us over and we'll be doing everything in line with COVID restrictions. So it's really nice to get out, uh, even if it is literally a walk away. <laughs> but it's still nice, yeah. Um, some ac active breeze, what, what am I trying to say? Deodorant. Um, so I thought I'd try this lady deodorant. Uh, not that, oh, that sounds worse than I meant it to be. I meant it's um, um, deodorant for ladies arms <laughs> oh sorry i should stop and re-record that but i'm not gonna uh some hot curry powder they didn't sell curry powder in aldi or maybe i just missed it i don't know some sticky notes so there's some index markers there's two of each one for my husband and one for me um in my new office where i'm helping him do his work um I think I've said cider, uh, but anyway, yeah, this cider is really nice actually. And some lentil curls, which we like, and then a couple of packs of pretend burritos, which are just for tortilla chips. 
and then some of the Grayson's gin because we're nearly out of gin and that's £18.75 I think for a litre which is not a huge saving on any of the standard brands really um, but it is really lovely it's actually my favourite gin and uh, it's one um, I'll try and get in there if I can um, with my limited technical skills and that is um, they've won like gold awards and things against proper artisan um, gins and things so that's really good uh, then some gluten-free beer which I obviously had to get from Tesco so some uh, vagabond American pale ale and some green king IPA which is India pale ale then also to go with wine I bought our neighbours for their garden just a little plant um, I can't remember what it is but anyway for their garden and some roses uh, then some hay fever tablets it's high hay fever season here um, my husband gets quite bad hay fever and it's worse early in the year so I'm not sure whether that's tree pollen or what I don't know then some floss harps because I do you know I have tried to floss I just can't do it or oh, my fingers are all over the place I end up poking myself in the eye or the ears and I, I'm sure I'm not doing it right and the hygienist did show me how to do it, but of course, it's really simple when you're a fully qualified hygienist, but for me, it was just awful. Um, so I'm going to try these harps. Hopefully, they'll be okay. And then this La Cura Q10, and this is um, moisturiser. Um, actually, I am officially, if you go on the recommended age group, I'm too old to use it. <laughs> whatever what else anyway it's cruelty free it's obviously trying to be the Nivea Q10 and it even smells like Nivea and I've used it for a while now and it's fabulous I mean like really good um I I don't have like really dry skin or anything but I use this and the night cream and it's also got SPF 20 on it which is really important for me because I'm not sure whether I've said this before. I probably have because I've said everything before. But I have no pigment in my skin. So I um, I um, had or have something called uh, vitiligo, which um, where the skin loses its pigment and it comes off in patches. It doesn't come off. It doesn't drop on the floor. I mean, it just disappears in patches. But my... I've had it so long that I just literally haven't got any pigment um, in my arms or my face or anywhere. So I have to wear some kind of factor at all times, even if I'm just out in the not very bright weather. So like now, for example, it's a cloudy day today. I still need to wear factor 20. Um, and uh, that's why I take vitamin D supplements as well because I just have this on all the time so my skin doesn't get any sunshine to create the vitamin D naturally. Oh God, was that too much information? I I, I apologised last time for the waffling, but people said that you like it, so I'm just going to waffle. And if you don't like it, of course, you can, you can use your stop button, I guess. <laughs> so, anyway, I would heartily recommend that. And it's only £1.50 or something like that. I mean, that is ridiculous. I've been through stages of buying like Clinique and Clarins and so on and so forth, but I uh, honestly, just just good. Then some antiviral handy wipes. There were two packets of these. I've left one in my car and this is for Andy's car. Um, yes, done all that. Then some of this uh, kitchen towel, which is quite good. Some tonic water, the light one this time. It's in a blue box and it is actually really good. I didn't like the yellow one, which wasn't the light. It was horrible taste, in my opinion. Uh, some lemonade there and then some tissues because, as I say, we are full on hay fever. And then some um, uh, rice cakes from Tesco and they didn't have the smaller loaf in Aldi so I got one from Tesco at 85p when it's 40p in Aldi so it's frustrating that they hadn't got it and then some genius pancakes for my husband so that's everything it's not a huge haul although somehow I've managed to talk for 13 minutes but um, yeah that's how it goes anyway so altogether in Aldi I spent 83 pounds and 48 and that's where the alcohol most of the alcohol came from 
apart from the gluten-free beer. And then in Tesco, I spent 50 pounds and 50 pence, which meant that altogether it came to 138 pounds and 98 pence. But obviously, a lot of that was alcohol. So 20, 28, um, maybe 40, 50 pounds of that was maybe 40 or 50 pounds was alcohol. But anyway, so there you go. Right. So that's it for this week for the haul so um, basically I've set myself a budget to try and stick to of around £150 a week and I have not been anywhere near that so far so I'm still well within my budget um, and I haven't been doing many top-up shops or anything so yeah I'm really pleased and that's still almost £20 under budget even if it does feel like more than I usually spend because it is Anyway, I will put something on the end of this video. So if you're staying on for that, thanks very much. And I'll see you in a minute. And if you're leaving at this point, thanks so much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you on the next one. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye bye. So this is in Cardigan, um, which is, or Abbot Ivy, if you want to say it in Welsh, is a lovely coastal town which we've seen before. Well, it's actually on the river, um, but this is an otter that is uh, festooned with the uh, Welsh regalia because, I'm assuming anyway, because it's the Euros 2020 in 2021, the football game or soccer and um, yeah all of the home nations are in there so it's really good this year and I guess someone in Wales has been proud enough to uh, decorate this otter in cardigan so I thought I'd just share that with you because I just thought it was really nice and very cute. And then I'm just going to share with you a little bit of a walk that we did recently and this is over in the Crooken Forest which is quite near to us but just got some spectacular views and just this is such a lovely walk um, and the clouds on this day were really lovely as well it was a really sunny day uh, the weather at the moment here in Wales is well as it stands today it's really gorgeous and yesterday was uh, yeah well, no not yesterday Sunday was a real real lovely day like 29 degrees or something anyway this is uh, again in Crook and Forest and you can just see in the background that that we we're looking over onto the Black Mountain which is um, further into mid Wales so yeah just sharing that lovely view with you and so, as I said, um, I'm going to be putting out quite a big video soon with lots of meal ideas on there. And some of them are just going to be really basic stuff like you, you've seen on my my hauls, not hauls, my meals of the week video before. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm no fancy cook or anything, but I'll share them all with you. And if I have got the recipes, then I'll try and remember to put them down below. And I'm hopeful that that will be out later this week. Anyway, in terms of where we are um, with... Um, our lives at the moment so we're having a really good time getting used to working together I mean actually I'm just helping out my husband at the moment and I'm really enjoying that and uh, yeah I just feel so much more relaxed than I have done for ages and I am enjoying life way more um, it's it's made such a difference to um, how I feel and everything it's just really great so I'm very grateful to to be in this position and to be um, happy and I've even started reading a lot more as well because for a while I just and, and I love reading I've always loved reading ever since I was a kid and my dad used to take me to the library every Saturday and um, yeah I've always loved reading but for the past like year or so I've just not been able to concentrate enough to read properly and I've been reading much more and I feel that is if nothing else that's a huge indicator that I feel like I'm getting back on track and all that anyway probably too much information so I apologize for that if you've lasted this long well done you deserve a medal and uh, thank you so much for watching I look forward to seeing you on the next one and in the meantime you take care of yourself and those that you love and if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you soon thanks so much for watching bye bye